Hello, my name is Colin Litzinger, and I have chosen to demonstrate the means to play chess, including how to set up a board, the game rules, the piece rules, and some special rules that you may not have been familiar with that are in fact real and official, but you might not know with a basic cursory knowledge of chess. Starting out is pretty simple, as you can see here on the board. Chess pieces are always divided into a light and dark, not always just white and black, and chess pieces can look like anything. You just have to know what the pieces represent and then use the appropriate rules. So to set up a chess board, you lay out the board where the lighter square is in the bottom right corner. You set the pawns in the second rank, rooks in the corners, knights next to the rooks, bishops next to the knights, the queen goes on her color, so the lighter and darker queen will both be on the lighter and darker spaces, respectively, if you've done it right. And the king goes on the last available square, and the lighter color moves first. This is typically seen as an advantage in chess, but you have to be pretty good for it to matter. Because it's all about taking initiative, and you can then, you know, dictate the pace of the game. That's more complex stuff. These are the basic moves. With the exception of the knight, all pieces cannot move through other pieces with one other exception that we'll get to later. Knights being the only ones able to move over pieces and have a move pattern of over and over two in one direction and then one over to either side from there. Most people typically use the logic of thinking of it as an L-shaped pattern just to make it simpler. Pawns can move one of two spaces, but we'll get to them a little later. Kings can move both horizontally, vertically, and diagonally one space across a board. Rooks can move to one end of the board to the other, provided there are no pieces in the way. And queens can move in all directions at any time. And bishops can only move on the diagonal spaces as almost all of this is indicated by the arrows. Now pawns have, are actually one of the most complicated pieces in the game, just by sheer amount of num rules. When you're starting out on the second line, you can move forward two spaces. After that, it's only one, and you can only take opposing pieces on the diagonal. But there is a special rule that you're watching play out right now. This is what's known as an in passant. Saint, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's French for in passing, and the opposing pawn must move up two spaces, and then if it was right next to your pawn, you can then move over diagonally behind it and take the piece. Now this last bit is castling, and this is the only other case where pieces can pass each other, and it has some very specific rules. For either of these cases, when it comes to castling, your king and rook, which cannot have moved. The other pieces must be out of the way. So your knight has to have moved out, and your bishop has to have moved out diagonally, which is why you can see both front two pawn spaces are open, because that's what would be required to perform this maneuver. Now, provided those pieces have not moved. Also, the queen has to move for the queen side castle. Provided they have not moved, you can then, as seen here, so your king would be right about there on the on e1, and your rook would be on a1 for castling on the king side. Provided the other pieces have moved out, and you have not moved either of your king or your rook on that side, you can switch them over. So your king will then be on, on well, I guess that's here. Your king would then end up on c1, and your rook would end up on d1, having passed each other while not being a knight. Now the last rule of the game it involves, this is the win conditions, you have check and checkmate. 
pretty simple. Apologize for my cat making all the noise. Um, check means a piece is threatening your king, and you are forced to get out of that, that predicament. And whatever move you make, it must solve the issue of your king being in check. So you must either take the piece that is in check, or move out of the way, move your king out of the way, or move another piece in the way, so it is no longer in check. And checkmate, lastly, means no matter what you do, your king is stuck. The Whoever has con successfully mate, gotten the other king stuck with no other possible moves available to it to escape being in check. That's, you, that is checkmate. And the other person has now won the game by getting checkmate on the other person's king. That's it. I hope everyone has a great presentation for themselves. And have a nice day.